But I think most of that comes down to like just finding every every time, like what it ho helps that you you've been free this week, and also just the fact that um, we've just been trying to get this recorded as uh, whenever we can, because um, the a lot of the other things we've done we've taken a lot of breaks, and. Um, and there's the fact that I wanna, I've been wanting to just start recording more often, m things more often, and like actually get a decent, decent upload rate. This is look better to me than the actual jetpack and crash too. I can, mm, I think it's a little bit slower, so it's easier to uh, move around a little bit. But I, dang it, I could be misremembering, but. It feels slower than the jetpack. It looks faster than me. It looks faster than me from my from my head. Hmm. I'm not sure then. I could. I, again, I could be misremembering. On the topic of um, more kind of designs, just to wrap it up. Um. So 3D era. Some. Oops. Magic strobe light. Yep. All the lights. Radiation. Pretty much, yeah. All these lights can kill you, and I, f I, I don't know if the floor does, but I, I'm gonna assume that's a yes. I know that like this down, the steam there is gonna kill you. The floor is lava. Takes a whole new turn. Yep. Let's see, yeah, Trinity is interesting. And probably when a lot of the female designs start to go downhill, but <laughs> some good redesigns for the returning male cast. Likes reptile who looks like when he looks like a reptile. Mm. Oh yeah, you need to see the compare like his evolution or evolution in universe, but <laughs> he starts off basically as green scorpion. Three games. And Mortal Kombat 4 decide to make the ninja look a little more. Hmm. And yeah, he. You know, okay, Mortal Kombat 4, he looks well, more reptilian. He's got scales. Okay. Still got a humanoid stance, but he's very clearly not human. <laughs> uh, and then, when we get to Deadly Alliance or MK5, that's when it goes crazy. <laughs> Lizard Man at that point. Leon is my first Mortal Kombat game, so guess which one Whoa! is my favorite. I can't believe I survived that. Uh, say that again. So Death the Alliance comes and Reptile goes from vaguely lizard like to a full on Lizard Man. <laughs> okay, this is a mess yeah. right now. That's the first Mortal Kombat game I played. Guess which one? Which guess which reptile game? Guess, guess which reptile design is my favorite? <laughs> Yay! He's been, he's been kind of just fluctuating. He mostly been after Deadly Alliance. He's mostly stuck with a uh, vaguely. And ever since. Mm, okay. Oh my. Okay. And we get to have, after the, like, the 3D trilogy, it's Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe, which actually has some decent redesigns for the Mortal Kombat characters. Mm. The last time Raiden had a cape, and I actually missed that. <laughs> Alright, let's just save. And then, then we get the reboot MK9. Um, yeah, it's supposed to take place during the original trilogy, but a lot of characters don't look at all like they did in the original trilogy. Like <laughs> Reptile. Man. Sonya. Oh my gosh. This trash in that game. Oh, this is the cursed warp room, the one where we started having issues. But that's I actually do kind of like it's like I'm half and half of MK9's designs. It's mm. tiny fabric everyone has. 
Which what's the one coming out uh now called? Is that Mortal Kombat ten or eleven? Eleven, okay. I like the designs of that one. Mm. It's yeah, pain design. It's um the designs are colorful, but I feel like I feel like some of them just I feel like some of the character designs were just done better in prior games. Didn't they like just call more Mortal Kombat ten just Mortal Kombat? Mortal Kombat 9 is just called Mortal Kombat, but then everyone called it Mortal Kombat 9, so Mortal Kombat X or 10 is still Mortal Kombat 10. Hmm. I I never understood like why company like why developers do that. Like what they make a sequel like ju they just call a sequel to the to a game like just Mortal Kombat for instance, even though like it's clearly meant to be a sequel, and then and then the next game's like just called like Mortal Kombat 10. So it's just like, why did you just why didn't you just call it Mortal Kombat 9 in the first place? You still have to go through every flag, pair of flags. Nah, nah, nah. It, that doesn't mean anything this time. Um, yeah, MK9 is a very odd case because it's but it takes place directly after Armageddon, so. Well, well, the reason why they have to go back to the events of Mortal Kombat 1, so they technically can justify being called Mortal Kombat. Huh. Okay. Everyone called it MK9 anyways, so... Hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, it's kind of weird, because, um, there's a lot of franchises that, uh, do the numbered thing. Like, the main example I can think of is Metal Gear Solid, um, where it's like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but the, the, the number isn't technically, like, the order in which the actual, like, timeline is supposed to be. Um, uh, so yeah. it's kind of weird. Okay, now at least... takes place where it should be, where it would, at least where it... What am I trying to say? It starts where it should be. It starts chronologically after the last canon. Hmm. So it fits for the most part. Yeah. Reset the timeline because... Because literally everyone died in Armageddon, so... <laughs> <sighs> so is Armageddon, like, an event that happened, or is that, like, a game? Yes. <laughs> it's... Both? And is Mortal Kombat 7 being Mortal Kombat 8, so it's not really part of the timeline. Okay. Game, everyone comes back from the dead to a battle for a pyramid that has a... <laughs> A is God's that emissary? Is that is there a reason why everyone comes back to life? One stays dead. <laughs> hmm. Like characters get resurrected on a regular basis because uh, that's how things go there. I see. So um, basically, like it's a long story. <laughs> hmm. All right then. Oh, gosh, like. Some this is minor character in Mortal Kombat 2. He's a background character. Like, literally, you just see him in the background of one stage. His name is Blaze. Huh. Returns in Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance as a playable fighter, but he's a secret character. An egg. Okay. The essence of the King of the Dragon King Onaga. Reptile becomes the host of Onaga for him to be resurrected. Mm. That's six deception. Onaga is killed by an old man named Chujinko. Hmm. He's still around, and he foresees basically a battle for the realms between the forces of good and evil. Okay. And... Oh, this elder... Not, is he an elder god? No, I think he's just, a, he's just a god of one of the realms. A lower god by standards of moral combat, because that's what they have. They do have... A higher a hierarchy for the deities. Okay. <laughs> um, Argus has two sons who he sets, who, and one of them is supposed to meet up with his the blaze at a pyramid. One of the, the sons wakes up early. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> combatants in the Mortal Kombat franchise hears about Blaze and wants to fight. For when they get his power. Okay. They go to a pyramid. They're 
like a few, but for, for like for the sake of simplicity, everyone dies except for Raiden and the main villain Shao Kahn. <laughs> That's how we start MK9. Raiden is uh, about to die. Something I could jump back in that. time. It sends a message back in time. Combat one. Message ever. He must win. Doesn't say who. -who. He just says he must win. <laughs> I um, basically crushes him with a hammer. Crush him with a hammer! Yes, Raiden of the past gets a message and tries to decipher it over the events of the original trilogy, now being warped and beat by the tampering of time. Hmm. So time travel is a thing. It's like... There's no, like, no past and future selves meeting with each other, it's just past Raiden getting a very poorly said message from his... And okay, Eleven has time, full-on time travel. Oh, man. I'm tripping. Actually, I'm not even sure if we can call it full-on time travel, like... It's diverged. It's not even like standard past and future. It's more like it's more like comic comic to continuity. Can you think? Uh, here's a question. Dang it! I hate this. Uh, can you think of any series that use time tra uh, time travel and not have it like just com completely like complicate everything? Uh, no. Ah. Back to the future tries, I guess. Hmm. It's like even, even, even like we we talked about this a few times, but even Crash Free kind of uh, has has some issues with the way the the writing has been. Where it's just like, oh, we we don't have any power sources left on the planet, but in the future there's still crystals there. So I. <laughs> yeah, I'm just presuming that Cortex's minions got. Crystals early and put them in a future because it seems like Cortex won. Like at least in the future level, it seems like Cortex already conquered the world. Yeah, I I've had that uh, comparison too. Like the fact that you see like engines, rockets, or whatever, and like like futuristic looking. Um, like the the uh, enemies in the future levels look like highly advanced. Uh, versions of those camera mooks from Crush 1. Again, when we see, we see Cortex's minions having like advertising in the... also... Hmm. <laughs> Probably the best other thing about it. It's too hard. Yeah. But, you know, yeah, but like... Even like, even Crush, uh, had some issues with the time tra uh, time travel. Just kind of making things a bit messed up. I mean, there there are games that that uh, do it worse than others, but still. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, this O six is like the main example of that, and that was that was on my mind too. But. There's not much I can say so, about that that's not, uh, or hasn't been said already. Don't use time travel in your stories, it's just not worth it. Yeah. Unless you just absolutely need, like, the level motif. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, don't bother. Because I love future levels. Um, like, this, why Crash the, the levels in Crash 3 are some of my favorites in that game. But, um... Time travel itself as like a get as a story concept, most of the time it's just better not to bother with it. It's too it's too. It just hurts your brain too much. I'm trying to. Um, okay. okay, there's a pit there. I just wanted to be safe. Get with the disco. We're never getting an explanation for that, are we? <laughs> Someone, someone on the on the dev team just really wanted to make a disco room. I think I think Crash and Alavis were doing the disco dance in the credits. 
Yeah. I wonder if this will be like a like a payoff gag for this. For that. <laughs> Maybe. It reminds me of that uh, one part in Lego Star Wars, um, where I, I think it was like the second level in Episode Six, where oh uh, yeah, when they... They, they you just hit a bunch of switches and then suddenly disco. Disco, but the Good Morning Gods are like rocking out. Da 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 da. da. I don't know if we've mentioned it on camera before, but um, if we can find a way, uh, me and Scrappy would like to do a um, a co-op playthrough of a uh, complete saga. We put we'd have to do the oops we'd have to do the PS3 version though. Maybe it's like are the servers even up for that thing still? I don't know, I... Oops. I managed to... I managed to play Little Big Planet 1 with uh, Jason a couple years ago, so... Hopefully. Uh, before we, like, end, like, think about, like, starting a recording, uh, so, like, starting an actual playthrough of Complete Saga, we, we do have to run, like, a test to make sure everything, like, works fine. But, um... The heck? That is a weird death. Like, they really liked the, the shrink ray death animation and just wanted to put it in somewhere, even if it doesn't make sense. It'll cut you down to size? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Robot wasn't doing anything here, he was innocent. <laughs> Uh, do you have a copy of Complete Saga? Oh, I have to buy one. Oh, okay. To be fair, I dang it. To be fair, I I have to buy one too because I I own the Wii version, and uh, we all know that doesn't have online co-op. So unless and the server the Wii online is dead. That too. So it wouldn't be able to do it even if it did have it, but um. Like, unless uh, Scrappy somehow manages to just show up at my house and just teleport to, um, we're gonna have to just get the PS3 version. Oh, man. I... Yeah, uh... Like... Hmm? What does your house even look like? Um, nothing really too special. <laughs> uh, okay, you're getting stuck on random stuff right now. Oop. I, okay. I got confused there because I for, for a second I thought I didn't hit I didn't touch the monkey bars. Wait, when would you want to like try like doing the uh, that uh, try and make it, seeing if we can make that work then the like a Star Wars playthrough. I guess it's basically on a when we have the copy basis. Yeah, pretty much. Now, how much do you have money? Any? How much money do you have on you right now? Zero dollars and zero cents. <laughs> That's a question. Uh, the we're just doing a time trial right now, so uh, can you look up how much a PS3 copy is? Like just sixteen, no shipping cost. Yeah. Like sixteen dollars. Okay. Uh, is that a new copy or a used? Really new. Okay, that's a uh, pretty pretty good actually. 
copy for eleven dollars plus four fifty three shipping. All right. It's it's not it's not a particularly expensive game. No. Nah. Find a copy in GameStop, honestly. <laughs> We're gonna. Uh, it's it's gonna be interesting because uh, I I I would like to um, a hundred percent the L the game for the LP for the LP. So we're gonna be in for the long haul. I've also toyed with the with the idea of uh, doing a hundred percent uh stream of Lego uh, the Clone Wars one. Um. But I don't know when I do that. Especially for the fact that I'm currently on a stream break, so... Hmm. Now, what, uh, what LEGO games have you played, actually? Um, I'll start pretty much all them up to like Lego Harry Potter the first one okay have you played any of the like the original Lego games like Lego Races or Lego Island and stuff like that or no I haven't okay I, I grew up I grew up with um quite a lot of them you kind of miss I do kind of <laughs> I don't know if I miss it, but I do kind of rem I do kind of reminisce about the days when full of licensed themes. Yeah. yeah it's like they had Star Wars as far back as the nineties, and then built up to more. Yeah. They still keep their a lot of their original themes. Like I like the Lego City line. Hmm. Apple seems to like come and go every few years. Oh, please don't say we're locked on the loading screen again. What is going on with this game? Warp Room 4 is cursed. This is at, this happens every time in Warp Room 4 for some reason. This game is a PC port. <laughs> I don't understand. I got a very. The condition of the of the copy I got was a uh, very good. Game itself is just not very good at points. This is old discs. Like the, I wonder if like. When did I last yeah. save? I think it was a few levels back. Uh, you, I mean, I mean, you may want to check your old. Hmm. Yeah, you may want to check your old footage and um, <laughs> saved before you restart anything. Yeah. Okay. We'll 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 take a. Uh a break and uh, we'll come back and probably have to redo some stuff but yeah okay i i'm going to go to the washroom